Secure encrypted flash drives? Let's check these out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out these. These are the secure drive, secure USB encrypted flash drives. Now this one is the secure USB BT or Bluetooth and it looks like a regular flash drive, doesn't it? But it ain't, you'll see in just a second. This has some pretty wicked cool security on it. This one's even more visually interesting. This one is the secure USB KP or keypad because when you open it up, it has a numeric keypad on it and you have to punch in the correct security code to be able to access the data on here. And this is hardware independent. So you plug this into Mac, Windows, Linux, any device that's gonna read it. And if you don't enter the code, it's not gonna be visible at all, period. Now, both of them are using AES 256-bit XTS hardware encryption and are certified FIPS 140-2 level 3, which means that you can hack away all you want, you're never going to get anywhere. Not only that, but this can be set up. So if someone enters 10 bad codes in a row, then it'll auto-destruct. Now, unfortunately, auto-destruct is not like something out of Mission Impossible. I don't think you're going to see little smoke coming out of it, but what it will do is it will just wipe itself clean. It will get rid of its stored codes and it will get rid of all the data that's on it. So really, really great. And you know, if you lose this, then it doesn't matter. No one's going to get to this data. So it's obviously true for both of these, but I will also note that when you put it in its case, these are pretty secure little cases. This makes them IP57, which means if you drop this in the pool or you drop it in the mud or something, it'll still work just fine. You open it up and it's pristine and clean and ready to use. So Let's start by looking at the Bluetooth one. So this is the Secure USB BT, and this features an app. So this is super interesting. So you plug this into whatever device you want to use, and then it's pre you've previously paired it with the app that is actually on your phone called Data Lock. And I'm going to go ahead and launch that, and then I'm going to run the recording so you'll see what happens. So right now it just shows disconnected, but what I'm going to do is I have to use the adapter. One of the downsides of these is they're USB 3, not USB-C. So if you need USB-C, you're kind of out of luck. But I have a USB 3 to USB-C adapter. So we'll do that and I'll plug it into that. I will plug it into my computer. And when I put it in, it is now going to communicate with the app. As you can see, it is momentarily, there we go, it's locked and it's initialized encryption. So now I can unlock it. Now what's really cool is in the app, I've used the biometrics of my phone and enabled all that. So I can unlock it with Face ID or Touch ID, or I can set it up with two-factor authentication. In fact, here, these are all the different settings. There's a lot of options you can have here. You can also do something called Step Away Auto Lock, but let me unlock it. I'm gonna just go ahead and tap, and then it'll use Face ID, and now the drive is unlocked, and it shows up on my computer desktop. So that is pretty slick. So I can put the phone away now. So what's Step Away Auto Lock? It is if your phone is more than 10 feet away from your Bluetooth secure drive for more than five seconds, then it'll automatically lock. So that means if you leave this in your PC at work and you head home without remembering that you didn't actually put it in a secure location, you're not in trouble because it will by the, I mean, honestly, by the time you leave your floor, it will have already locked again. So really great. This is true even if you just go to the bathroom. Yes, you'll have to unlock it again, but if you need this level of security, that's exactly how you want it to behave. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a quick demo. So I'm gonna go ahead and record my screen. And let's see, so that's all recording. So now you can see I'm gonna open up the drive and it has a couple of different files on it, including a 1.2 gig movie. So let's start with that. So I'm gonna drag that onto my desktop and we'll see how long it takes to read from the Bluetooth locked device, which of course is unlocked, 
and then actually get it onto my desktop. And in fact, it's already done. And that was a gig file. So that's not bad. Now let's try the other one. So I'm going to take a same size file and I'm going to copy it on. And generally speaking, writing to a flash drive is slower than reading from a flash drive. So we'll see how this plays out. But you know, you're you can see it's definitely slower. It's probably going to take, I'm going to guess maybe about 25 or 30 seconds, but it's chugging along. And here's the thing is that these are not the fastest flash drives in the market. These are not about speed. These are about security. And that's always a trade off because you can't really have super duper fast devices and still have hardware encryption. So this has taken a little while, but really this isn't the kind of thing where you're going to be doing live video 4K editing while you're, you know, directly off of one of these drives. Again, that's not its purpose. This is archival. This is something where you might copy data onto it and then head to a remote facility so that you know that you have secure information. And if you lose it or someone steals it, they can't get to it. So we've done the read, we've done the write. Now here's, I'm going to show you some other numbers. Actually, let me hold on to that for a second. So I ran some performance benchmarks on my PC because I've been trying these with all these different computers, but we're going to hold on because I want to show you the other device first. So a couple of the other interesting features that this has is it has what's known as remote wipe. So from the Bluetooth app, once it's paired, I can actually remote remove the data. So it's not quite as exciting as auto destruct, but <laughs> it's pretty darn handy. And from the web console, uh, IT administrators can set these up to actually have geofencing or time fencing. So it could work anywhere on your secure company faculty campus. But as soon as you step off into another facility or you leave the building, then suddenly it won't work anymore. And same with time. It can just automatically be inaccessible from 8 p.m. till 7 a.m., right, every single day. Or maybe it isn't accessible on weekends, and that's one way to enforce that you're not coming in on Saturday afternoon. And who knows what you're doing with that little flash drive in the heel of your shoe, right? <laughs> so... That is, or this is, the Secure Drive Secure USB Bluetooth. Now let's try the other one. So this one, as I said, is the Secure USB KP or keypad. And I'm going to do the same thing where I have to use the adapter. And then I'm going to plug it into my computer. And here's a close-up so you can see what happens. Is You have to push the key and then the code. and then the key again. And I have it to the default right now, which is 11223344, really not the world's most secure code. There you go. So unfortunately, <laughs> I would probably change that if I was using this in a secure environment. Um, but now it's ready to go. So now let's jump back onto my computer and see what kind of performance we're gonna get. So in a curiously similar fashion, this one also has a 1.2 gigabyte movie on it. So let's copy this onto my computer. Actually, you know, let's not. Let's actually rename it first. So we'll call this extra just to make sure that there's no file caching issue. So now this one I will copy onto my computer and let's see how long that takes for 1.2 gig. That is a pretty zippy copy, I would say. And then we can do the exact same thing. Now, instead of reading, we can do a write. So I'm gonna just copy this on. And while that's writing, and again, write is always a little slower. While that's writing, let me just explain to you. So I used a program called Crystal Disk Mark 7 on my PC to run some performance numbers. So great, so this copy is done. Let me go ahead and jump back on camera. I wanted to run some speed tests, but I wanted to get some benchmarks too. So again, as I said, I use something called Crystal Disk Mark 7, which is a really popular diagnostic and performance analysis tool on the Windows side. So on my Dell XPS 13, I ran it against its own C drive, and here's what those numbers look like. And then I ran it for the Bluetooth unit, which is this one. And those are what these are. These are what those numbers look like. <laughs> and then finally, and I'm just going to unplug this one. I also ran the same disk performance numbers for 
the KP or keypad one, and that's what these numbers are. So between the three of them, you can see that there's no question, there is a performance penalty for using this versus a regular a hard drive. Obviously, if you have an SSD drive or you have like Thunderbolt 3 or something like that, it's going to be faster, but I can't iterate enough. That's not what these are for. These are not intended to be super fast. They are intended to be super secure. So the performance is not one where you're going to want to use it interactively, but if you need to copy data and securely take it to another facility or bring it home or whatever it is you need to do with it, these are exactly the purpose for these devices. So really the only thing left to talk about is the price. But before we get to the price, I'm going to ask if you don't mind giving me some feedback on this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, I suppose. Leave me a comment. But most importantly, if you can subscribe to my channel, really appreciate when you do that. Great. So these are secure drives, secure USB devices. This one is the secure USB KP or keypad, and it is $89 for 8 gig, $149 for 32 gig, and $179 for 64 gig, all at securedrive.com. Now, I will note that Secure Drive also sells these devices through Amazon, and some of them are the same price and some of them are a little less expensive. So do a little bit of comparison shopping to make sure you get the best possible price for this, and that will be something you'll appreciate. Now, this one is the Secure USB Bluetooth, or BT, and a hundred and, or sorry, it's 119 for 16 gig, 159 for 32 gig, and 189 for 64 gig, also at securedrive.com. And again, do a little bit of comparison shopping. You might find it a little bit less, but they are expensive devices. They are also ridiculously secure devices. And if you're worried about people walking off with your data or stealing your flash drives and getting your data, this is how you stop that. So really interesting devices, fairly specialized, but really pretty darn cool. I definitely imagine that like if you pull like this out when you're even like in the lab at, at school or something, everyone's going to want to know what do you have on there? That's awfully interesting. So <laughs> I suppose if you don't mind paying the premium for that, but more importantly, if you really need that level of data security, that's exactly where these are fantastic solutions. So check them out. And with that, I'll catch you in my next video.